Today we're going to take a look at a vulnerability in the Windows shell that it could allow an attacker uh, to execute code on your machine unchecked. So the vulnerability specifically relates to a malformed shortcut or .lnk or .pif file um, that when browsed or double clicked or even when you right click properties on the file can execute code uh, sort of behind your back without your knowledge. So we have two machines set up in the, here in the lab, uh, both Windows 7 Ultimate machines. We're going to do a quick demonstration uh, of a machine without Bluepoint security and then a machine with Bluepoint security, just so we can see how the vulnerability uh, sort of reacts and how Bluepoint reacts when it's uh, on the system. So let's take a look at it here. Again, just a standard Windows 7 machine. Uh, we have preloaded this Windows 7 machine on the C drive uh, it could be a USB drive or anywhere else. We just happen to put it on the C drive uh, with the malform shortcut. So you'll notice immediately upon browsing the C drive, when I double click here, you'll see some action taking place. So let's go ahead and double click it. And then I've done nothing else other than the double click. And we have two things here. One, we have a message. Uh, your system has been compromised, which is a message from our DLL here. Uh, telling us that the DLL was successfully loaded into the system by the malform shortcut. The DLL then in turn opens up Calculator just as a demonstration to show you that um, basically anything can be done uh, once you've browsed that malform shortcut. Of course, double-clicking the shortcut, same deal. Um, I haven't actually heard anybody notice uh, right-click properties, same deal. Basically, any, any way that uh, Windows attempts to load uh, the shortcut, you're going to end up with that, uh, end up with the infection. So uh, that's that. Let's switch over to our Bluepoint protected machine here, just so we can see how that operates. So same exact scenario, Windows 7 Ultimate, latest version of Bluepoint security. We're going to move over here to the C drive. And when we double click the drive, as you notice, it was very similar to the other machine that the minute we browse that drive, the shortcut attempts to load the DLL, which it shouldn't be doing, and then Bluepoint steps in and prevents it. So you notice Calculator didn't launch. We didn't get the message box telling us that the DLL had loaded. So the vulnerability is completely mitigated. One important thing to know, uh, as a vendor, we're not actually blocking the malicious um, files that are out there. There are several, of course, uh, publicly available uh, pieces of malware out for this. What we're doing is we're actually mitigating the vulnerability itself. So no matter how many pieces of malware are essentially released for the vulnerability, um, we're protecting our customers against the vulnerability. As well as, of course, adding uh, to our detection capabilities the malware that uh, is in the wild. So that uh, essentially concludes the video. Uh, the other thing to note is we are not sure if Microsoft is going to release a patch for Windows XP Service Pack 2 as it's just recently out of uh, end of life on the support. So they may or may not release a patch. The good thing is Bluepoint Security protects all of the current Windows operating systems from this vulnerability, whether there's a patch in place or not. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.